Alright, we're back everyone. Got the system crap open. I got rid of all the stuff in the data log in the absence. So I was saving- I'm Pyro Falcon by the way. <laughs> so I'm uh, I was saving this for when you started the LP, but one of the reasons that really pissed people off about 13 is you can see uh, douchebag and racist douchebag over there on the right. Until apparently the final Zaz chapter. Zaz isn't a racist douchebag. He's actually a pretty well-rounded character. Don't talk shit about Zaz. Um, see how they're black and white? Yeah. You are not allowed to pick your team until like the last chapter. That's a little bit lame. Little bit. Little bit, yeah. Shitty. They're basically the B team. So at least for now, you've got lightning, snow, and... Vanille, 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 vanille! Yay! Thank you for picking up my cue. I was worried that there would be I a I don't split second give a silence. damn as long as vanille's in my party. Yay! Jesus fucking Christ, look at Snow's peach fuzz. So... <laughs> it's like bum fluff. <laughs> you can dick with the paradigms here if you want to really customize your team, but otherwise you um, are all set to play as I'm you are. I'm good. I think I've got it set to... Yeah, to their credit, they do a pretty good job yeah. of giving you some default... Uh, Solidarity. Always go for defense, because I'm an offense-heavy person in Well, RPGs. in that case, you can change your default. Like, if you go to... I just did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I forget I'm actually doing an LP with a gamer chick who actually knows I games. I know, right? What a concept. <laughs> We're not all the Dungeon Master's girlfriend. What? The Dungeon Master's Girlfriend. You never heard of that archetype? No, but play while you're talking, otherwise yeah, people are going to get bored. The <laughs> one Find chick me. who, like, she's obviously the Dungeon Master's Girlfriend. Are there any shiny balls around here? Oh my god, this place is so cool. But, like, I mean, this is a stereotype, but, like, she gets pretty much everything handed to her because she's the Dungeon Master's Girlfriend. Like, she probably doesn't even know how to play on her own. Oh, you're talking, like, actual D&D. &D. Yes. I get it. It also works for Warcraft as well. Warcraft? Like, yeah. World of Warcraft? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It is like a stereotype, guild leaders, though. The guild leader's yeah. girlfriend gets all twinked out. Yeah. It is I a stereotype, it. though. Okay. So, if we don't, don't think that focus, actual women are like that. How do we complete it? Good Indeed. question. I think... Oh my god, pretty girl. I saw it. Saw what? That is how a focus comes down, people. The Fauci, they don't spell it out with clear-cut instructions. All you get is a hazy glimpse. Mm -hmm. Like a fever well, dream. You know, that's what they say. <laughs> you know, legends and all. Mm -hmm. Legends. Yeah. <laughs> Zaz got a secret. Did you see anything? <sighs> I, uh, I just, it's all kind of foggy, but I saw this big, I mean, towering. What, what, wait a minute. Hold on now. Do we all have the same dream? Ragnarok. Yep. Fancy word. And more cutscenes. Yay! Is this a Final Fantasy or a World War II bomb video? So, we all saw the same dream. We all heard that same voice. Kill your friends. You mean that was our focus? But how are we supposed to know what to do from that? Mm -hmm. That's the tricky part. The dream's the only hint the Falci gives us. Figuring out what to do with it, that's our job. Okay, okay. She's so spunky, pulses, even when she's dead. Right? Enemies a cocoon. So, does that mean that our focus is... Are we supposed to... Save her. Say what? Our focus is to protect cocoon. Really? Okay, and why is that? Sarah told us. Let's do it. We're all in this together. I'm gonna look for Sarah. She ought to be nearby. Vanille, Vanille's got a secret. Uh, I'll come too! So spunky. Wait. Oh my gosh. Jeez. I love how when she moves, she uses basically every still. muscle in her body. I yeah. know. I think I said that in an earlier video, how yeah. she takes up as much space as she can, and it's all subconscious on a level. 
battle team changed. Yeah. Oh, you have a different team already? No, it's just. It was just yelling at you. Changed. Having become the sea, the members of your party can now develop their powers, learning new abilities or improving attributes such as strength, magic, and HP. Nice. We can level up. How does that voice not hurt your throat? That's it awesome. It does hurt my throat. It's Talking hurts my throat, basically. I don't talk a whole lot. That's not good. It's like... Voices are weird, because like, you can do anything with it, and there's a certain way you can do it that doesn't hurt it. Like, you can scream without hurting your throat. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. See? And exaggerated hammy voice doesn't really hurt. Exaggerated so hammy voice? So much as it takes a lot of your air. Exaggerated hammy voice. Nice. Alright, alright. Uh, yeah, sure. First open the main. <laughs> fucking shitting me. Okay, the crystarium is now accessible from the menu. We select the character you wish to develop. It's like lightning and then press X. But I want a vanille. Vanille, vanille. That's a weird flower. I think I did something like that flower for an art project. Alright, Christian allows you to develop the character in various roles. Lightning can it currently develop as a commando or a ravager. Each has its own kind of development. Really, guys, but. Okay. The ruin crystal is illuminated. The illuminated crystals represent known abilities. Lightning can use the opposite offensive magic spell of ruin whenever she is playing the role of commando. She can rape them. <laughs> That's what ruining is, isn't it? Classy. Always. Crystal next to Rune is still dim, but by extending the line... We're taking up a lot of time with these goddamn tutorials. We are, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, you can advance the path of Crystal Genesis by holding X. Doing so will consume Crystal Gen points. So basically, it's a skill tree. Yes, it is a skill tree. Go ahead and advance lightning paths of Crystal Genesis. You also... Um, the Akamura here is a grinder. Gradually, CP. Yeah. Uh, and one of the issues with this game is that uh, you have a limit to your grinding. So, like, on your skill tree, you have a maximum number of points you can spend at a given time. So there will be a point where you can grind, and then there will be a point where you're not allowed to grind anymore. Nice, huh? You obtain strength plus four crystal, increasing lightning strength <laughs> attribute by four. Holy shit, what a concept! That was loud. It sure was. <laughs> These can only be used in the corresponding role with the co in the corresponding role, but attribute bonuses like this apply across all roles. At times, you must direct the course of crystal genesis. Normally, the line will advance until you run out of CP. However, it will stop automatically at branching points like the strength plus four crystal you just obtained. So I can get. Dude, Life Siphon sounds dangerous. I want it. Continue advancing Crystal Genesis here. Plus X in the drive. Yeah. You have run out of CP, so Crystal Genesis cannot proceed. To develop lightning further, you'll need to earn more CP. Characters earn CP after each battle. Which means I probably didn't get CP for the past battles, which is sucky. That is a sucky thing. Once you have fought enough, return to the Crystarium to obtain more crystals. You can develop other party members in the Crystarium as well, if you wish to do so now, put a spell on it. Alright. Let's... The Neil Man. Oh my god. Do you see where your CP is listed up there? Yes. So you did get some, just not a whole hell of a lot. But if I remember right, all characters Libra. get CP, even your inactive characters. I think. Right. You'll have to play, because I can't remember. Whoa. Whoa. Obviously, Whoa. obviously you have to play. Whoa. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Stop doing that, me. Alright, uh... <laughs> yeah, so... Base ability is cure, so... Stop it! I can't buttons. So, she already has Libra, which I don't know what that does. can't see it, but... Alright, and Cure, apparently. Whoa. So... I guess my next path is H plus 30. And then... 
Excellent. Alright. There's the meal, the meal, the meal. Let's go. Snowball. It's actually talking to the microphone. <laughs> and he's a sentinel. Wait, did you just call him Snowball? Yes, I called him Snowball. <laughs> Come Snow. on, it's a foregone nickname. Good point. It really kind of is. <laughs> Alright. Steel Guard, Provoke. Damn, Snow, you developed. Ah! What is this front of our ship? Reduce damage to nearby allies when you target an area attack. Right. Right. Bloop! And it looks like that's all I can do? I guess so. Uh, yep. So... Yeah, it's a sentinel. Alright. I gotcha. So next I should develop his... Ravager abilities. Yep. Jesus, I am like... <laughs> I am like destroyed this video. That's okay. It's like tutorials forever. We can also heavily edit it if you wish. Yeah. I don't know why I said that on the microphone. Because you did. Right. Because I did. Bam! Bloop. All right. That done. Phoenix down. Alright. RCP. So we move on to Hope Spot, which is sort of like a cancer spot. Except, I don't know, there's really no difference here. <laughs> so you're calling Hope the cancer of your team. He is the cancer. <laughs> we just have to keep hitting him with character development chemotherapy and it'll go away, I guess. Nice. That was one whacked out metaphor. Alright, coming close to the end of the episode. Are we? Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess we are. So, I'm going to call this one here. Talk to you guys in the next video, I suppose. Alright, see you then. <laughs>